Short form content is printing cash right now. It's literally the modern day gold rush. And what's insane is that it's actually so easy to do. However, I'm seeing a lot of videos covering really good niches, but they're missing out crucial parts. These tutorials are skipping over vital steps in which you guys need to do when editing these videos to make sure that you're eligible for the For You page, and more importantly, eligible to get monetized. I don't know if these guys are specifically leaving out these bits of information so they can get you into their course, but in this video, I'm gonna expose everything that you need to know for these viral niches to ensure that these videos get monetized. TikTok, YouTube, all of these places, you need to create original content. So not only am I gonna show you a brand new viral niche in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create every single aspect of that video so you can guarantee that you will get monetized. So what's this niche? The niche is these viral texting stories. I know before you click off, you think this is an oversaturated niche, but after discussing in my Discord community, we realized that a lot of people are using these same outdated tutorials. With this brand new tutorial, I'm guaranteeing that you guys will be able to cook with this niche and it's still printing literally millions of views in the last week. So without further ado, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. This is a brand new TikTok niche, the Google Docs in the description, and let's jump into the step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay, so before we jump into the tutorial, I just wanna cover three crucial things and why your content's probably illegible for monetization and is getting flagged as unoriginal. First thing, you need to be making your own background content. So whether that's going and screen recording subway surfers, paying a guy on Fiverr to go and play Minecraft or actually playing a Minecraft yourself or GTA, whatever the game clips are that you're gonna use for your visual background. You need to be creating your own. Everyone's teaching obviously to go use the Creative Commons license, but that means that everyone's going and using those same pieces of content, which is obviously why TikTok is flagging it as repetitive. Two, unique angle for a CTA. Don't just be like saying follow for more, like, comment, share, subscribe. You need to be invoking controversy and emotion in someone. So when you're picking your niche, you got to think about what the CTA is and you got to say the CTA like 15 to, 15 to 20 seconds into the video. For example, a would you rather niche that popped off in my Discord is a football niche and then he kept putting Messi and Ronaldo against each other. Comment who's the go. Like that's something that football fans will get passionate about and then they will actually comment rather than just being like share this with a friend people won't do that so there's like no point putting those CTAs in and the final thing which is what I'm going to go through in this video is using sound effects and good editing this is so crucial because everyone's trying to make money on TikTok and is printing money but you can't just be lazy and slap together a bang average video you need to really work on using visual hooks sound hooks and verbal hooks so this is what I'm going to show you guys right now in this editing section of this video okay people so as I was doing research for this niche and actually trialing out myself, I came across a new variation of it <laughs> that's absolutely hilarious. So let me show you what it is. It's basically the text conversations, but instead of speaking them out, they've used AI to make it into songs. Now, if I'd have said that initially, you'd have thought it probably sounds terrible. But if you've not seen this already, check this out. Like what? <laughs> they use AI to create this text conversation into literally like a, a medieval style opera song. And it's actually a banger as well, low key bangers. And all the comments are people being like, didn't care about the story, just stayed here for the song. So I don't think anyone's talked about this on YouTube yet. So it's a Johnny Chapman exclusive. I was looking and digging for a way to try and create a different angle for you guys to approach this text conversations niche. So this is the new variation. Let's jump into the step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay guys, so the hardest part of this whole tutorial is gonna be coming up with the scripts, but luckily for you, I've gone tried and tested multiple methods. Depending on your morals and your personal ethics, you can choose one of these strategies. The first one, which is the best one because you come up with the entire idea yourself. We're gonna come over to Reddit and then we're gonna basically go into any subreddit that has interesting stories. This example, I use relationship advice. We're gonna copy the story and we're gonna go into ChatGPT and get ChatGPT to basically do the work for us to extract it, turn it into a text conversation 
and then create it like a storyline with a hook and a cliffhanger. So these are the prompts I said. Hey, I have another story. I appreciate you turn into a text conversation. And then ChatGBT said, sure. And I said, okay. So then I dropped everything from this uh, subreddit, basically her entire message into ChatGPT and ChatGPT spat it out into a text conversation. So that's 90% of the work done. But I know that I needed a better hook. So then I said, right, I'm going to ask you for a slightly more complex task. Do you reckon you could take that same conversation, but leave a bombshell information to the end as a cliffhanger? make it more dramatic. And so ChatGPT said, sure, give it more of a dramatic twist. And it spat out this chat, which was honestly sick, way better. But I added a little bit of my human touch to it because I knew that I could make it even better. And so I basically added this child protective services just came to my house as the hook because you got to think about the first message being on screen. But honestly, this was like 99% of the way there. And using ChatGPT, extracting stories from Reddit means that you can constantly come up with new ideas and you don't get sort of like writer's block coming up with these. And then just sit there and think, right, I need to hook them in in the first couple messages that pop on screen. So, I mean, you're going to stop and read like child sex experts that just came to my house, aren't you? And also <laughs> in the singing form, it sounds hilarious. So that's strategy one. The other strategy, which is not as ethical, you can go and find a viral video on YouTube. Like I think this one got like 7 million views. Grab the URL and take it to a software like DubDub. Use their AI transcription and you can basically just transcribe their entire script. And then you can copy and paste this into ChatGPT and ask it just to remove the timestamps for you. So instead of here where I've said her and friend, literally just say the remove the timestamps and ChatGPT will give you a nice clear text. So now you have a full script ready to go into the next creation step. So once you have the script, it's time for the fun part. Let me take you to the software which they use to create these videos. So previously I was gonna show you how to use Eleven's labs but if you guys don't know how to utilize yet you can basically watch the other tutorials on this because there's so many people have talked about this niche because it is a hot niche but what i want to show you is i want to show you suno which is an ai music creator and honestly it is <laughs> incredible okay so now you've got the script either from reddit or transcribe the video made some changes we need to go and actually turn it into a song. So we're going to be using a software called Suno Creates, which I'll link it down below. It's not sponsored or affiliated. It's just the best software that I found to create these. Once you're on there, we want to go into custom mode and then it allows you to basically paste your script into there. So go over to ChatGPT or if you want to copy and paste it into a Google Doc to keep track of all your scripts, then do that. But I'm just going to grab mine from ChatGPT. Then we're going to click custom mode enter lyrics and that will put our entire script in there then you get to choose a style of music so i played around a lot and i basically like the medieval style the best but this is me dropping my secret sauce on actually what i'm going to try with this niche but i thought i need to make a return to youtube with a banger so i'm gonna give all the secrets here nothing is going to be withheld so the theme that all these viral accounts are using is medieval and then you can basically just click create i wish i could take credit <laughs> more credit for this but this software is insane i'll definitely go just play around with it because this is like the closest thing to like the shock and how impressed i was when chat gbt first came out it's actually good like it's actually good and when mid journey came out this is literally insane so let's listen to the song ah how annoying i left the bit where chat gbt responded oh well let's listen to it anyway <laughs> these songs literally slap as well the intros are usually dead but they build up this medieval style is like a it's kind of like a slow and then boom it pops off these are honestly sick i'm not gonna sit here and go through all of them but you can really play around with different styles so let me show you some examples of one that i made before so infectious afro beats good like, this is actually a bop. Oh, 
How mad is this? Honestly, I literally, I find this is like how excited I was when I first started playing around with AI tools like a year ago. So congrats to Suno. You've made an absolute banger of a product. So that is how you create the song. And then once you're happy with the song, you can literally just click save and download audio and it's going to automatically download that song for you so you've got the script now and you've got the song downloaded how do we actually get the text on screen okay so the software we use to create the fake phone conversations is called fakedetails.com and i've gone ahead and written the script up into this iphone layout but you can actually do a bunch of different layouts for social media you've got whatsapp facebook instagram twitter and a bunch of other ones literally every single chat app you can create fake conversations with us and it's as easy as literally just take your script from chat gpt and then just copy and paste each line into it so child protective services just came to my house and it's as simple as when you click down here add message sender will be the messages on the right hand side and then receiver will be messages on the left hand side and I literally just copy and paste them uh try and leave a couple lines and use like punctuation like you do in text so the subconscious brain basically is watching this video on TikTok. The more realistic it looks, the more people are, are intrigued because basically everyone's nosy. When you combine the brain rot of the background visuals, the song's just jokes, so it's just funny. But the text aspect, like the reason this niche worked is because people are curious, people are nosy. So if it looks like a real text, people want to watch it and they're interested by what the text says. So you just go back, forth, back, forth, write your script out and then you come back along and you just click download iPhone messages image. And what that's gonna do is, is gonna download whatever's on the screen right now. So let me show you. It's not gonna do like a whole long, it's literally just an exact parallel of what you have right now. So then you have to scroll down. So I'd probably keep it like just above there so like a almost like a square amount so oh no what happened i'm going to scroll down past that and then i'm just going to have this bit and then again download and then i'm going to do this for the entire text conversation and we're literally ready with this bit i forgot to show you guys on suno here is the actual one that i created again i made the mistake with chat gpt Like, <laughs> it's honestly a banger. <laughs> Literally, I don't know how they've managed to do this. But one thing I forgot to say is that you can click down here and use random styles and basically generate an insane amount of different ones. Also, if your script's longer than two minutes, you can click extend and it will keep the same song going and you can then just add the next part of your script. So you can make longer songs with longer scripts. You can add up to a minute on each extension. I don't know how many times you can extend it, but I think I tried to extend one of my songs four times and I was able to. So it was able to be five minutes in total. The first full song's two minutes and then each extension's one minute long. Now we're ready to go and edit in CapCut and I'll have all the resources for you linked below. And I've also done, done for you, lazy version of everything, backgrounds, sound effects, a load of scripts for you, and additional editing tutorial. Link down below, it will be a bonus pack. So let's jump into CapCut. Okay, so in CapCut, we're basically gonna start a new project and then you wanna import all the resources that will be linked down below so you can follow along with a step-by-step. -step. And then the first step is going to be importing the song onto the timeline. So we're gonna open up the folder with all the resources and then we're gonna import this Here song. without the identifiers. Yeah, and we're just going to add that onto the timeline. And then we want to remove the mistake at the beginning. So the bit sure, where we copy the chat GBT line, we don't want. So we're going to delete that bit out. And we're also going to delete this intro bit out. And we want to start it as soon as it says child protective services alongside with obviously the message. So we'll cut the intro and then that's the song ready. Now it's time to add the background. So I'll drop you guys some Subway Surfers gameplay. Right now I'm gonna use a screen screen and I'll pop on screen Y because I'm gonna take it into Final Cut Pro and add a shadow. But you guys can literally just drag and drop where I'm putting the screen screen, put your Subway Surfers or your Minecraft background footage. I'm just gonna increase this. If you wanna follow this step by step, then same. Use a green screen and then either use Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro to do the final steps. So now I've got the background, I'm going to add the first text message 
and then I'm going to make sure that it's centered in the screen. I reckon size wise is around 82% as the scale. Around 80%, 82% is fine. And then we're going to go over and we're going to crop it. So I'm going to crop out the battery percentage. And for this picture, that's it. That's the first one. So we're going to have the name and title and everything. And then we'll watch that. Yeah, happy. And now we're going to go over to mask. And this is how we make each message appear. We're going to use the mask tool and keyframes. So the first bit is going to start. And then I'm going to extend this. And then each section. So I just quickly added a what from the other song. So I'm going to keyframe where I want it and then a second keyframe automatically added when I pull down. So you have to do it in two sections, keyframe first. So then move your keys like three times and then keyframe again. This way you can basically first keyframes like where you want it to start and then second keyframes where you want to end and do that. So then move it down, unveil the message and then keyframe and then make sure you're lining it up basically as the song speaks and it's literally as simple as that go through and do that all the way through and do that for each message so i'll show you for the rest of this one i'm going to speed the rest up <laughs> perfect so that's actually done so now we're going to fly through and do this again for another one and i'm literally just going to fast forward this whole bit so I'll, I'll join you back when i'm done okay so we now have gone and done the whole timeline is now we can go in and edit the keyframes and basically make the text reveal smoother by manipulating the keyframes so just watch it back and see if you're happy with how the animation comes down and if you're not then move the keyframes closer together or further apart just remember which one was the one that was stopped it and then which one was the keyframe that actually animated down so as you can see i'm going to drag this keyframe a little bit further and i'm going to bring them together and speed that up and then i'm literally going to go through and do the same so i'll speed all this up and now it's time to add the animation. We want the text to come up on screen and we're going to match that with a sound effect. So we're literally going to go in and we're going to use the out slide down and then in slide down animation. Simple as that. And we want to basically just go through and overlap the clips. So I'm just going to search for the slide down. There we go. And then I'm going to lift this clip from the timeline so I can overlap the two so they can basically be sliding on and off the screen at the same time. So I extend this clip a little bit to the left oh, no. and then ex move it a bit further because that was too close. There we go. When I oh, no. Perfect. When I and then we're going to go through and do this all head. the way through the clip. Again, I'm going to speed this up just because it's the exact same editing and everything. Then once we've done it all, it's time to go through and add the sound effects. So the sound effects will be linked in the pack. I've got sound effects for iPhone, sound effects for Snapchat, basically all the social media and notification sound effects are all in the pack below. And now I'm gonna drop this iPhone message sound effect under each transition. And that's it. I'm now gonna speed up and do the rest of that with the clip. And that's it. You literally, I would go through, watch the clip back, make sure that you're happy with it and export it. Obviously, if you've got the background of Minecraft or cooking or any ASMR videos, or if you want to use Subway Surfers, which will be linked down below, then you can do that. Or if you want to follow my green screen strategy, then I'm going to show you right now on how to do that, how to add this shadow effect in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so we could just add the background stuff and be done with the quality that we've created in CapCut. But I want to go above and beyond and add this drop shadow in the background to make it look a bit better and also i can mess with timings better in final cut pro so i'll show you how to do that first of all i just drag and drop the subway surfer footage onto the timeline and i'm just going to zoom this in and then i want to basically get rid of this on the right hand side and also want to get rid of this uh bar tab here so about there should be perfect let me watch that through make sure nothing comes on screen there we go so that's the background footage and then we want to get our exported 
which was this one. Drag and drop it on there. Now we can remove the green screen. So all editing softwares will have this. You can literally just type in green and it'll be green screen key on Final Cut Pro. And then that removes the background. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just slightly speed up here. I'm just gonna in fact, I'm drag it. Do like 130% just to increase the brain rot a little bit so the subway surface is moving way faster. Then I'm gonna come to the end of this clip and literally just delete that off. And then we wanna go into here and search for drop shadow. Drop shadow, and you can just drag and drop that straight on, but I've got a preset ready made. Now you can see that there's a drop shadow, but I wanna move it over slightly. So what I'm gonna do is come to the drop shadow and then I'm gonna Okay, so that's the Y axis. I want a perspective point. And then uh, move it over a little bit like that. And then we're gonna increase the blur. Move it up to the, up the Y a little bit more. Perfect. And there we go. Child Protective Services just came to my house. What? I really need to talk. Speak, sis. It's just everything's falling apart. And it's all because of my husband. Oh no, what happened? Remember when I almost died giving birth to my son? Yeah, that was terrifying. And that's it done. That's the video done. Another thing I'll test out with for this account will be speeding up the clip a little bit just so again, we've got that initial retention and we can get through the text messages faster. But that's a wrap guys. I hope you found this valuable. This is a brand new niche and I'm gonna be testing out myself. I know I've said this before, but I'm actually posting this one once or twice a day. I'm gonna try it for 30 days and document it. Future Johnny here to interrupt the outro. We did post on that account. We scaled from zero to 40,000 followers in 30 days and documented the whole thing. 28 million views, $8,000 earnings in the Creator Rewards program. It's a banger. The first part of the challenge where I scale from zero to 10,000 followers and $1,000 is dropping next Sunday. So look out for that. All the insider information that's working right now, the secret strategies and everything I use to go viral, it's all in next week's video doing this exact niche. If you want to copy the exact things I did of all the tutorials and everything, I'm opening up five slots for you guys. Link down below, so go check that out. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys next week in the channel. Challenge your boys gunskis.